Okay, this is part two because my audio got completely ruined from the last video. Don't know why, but this is where it kind of cut out. So we're starting here with adding the Alumilite white resin dye. And I will tell you, I have too much resin on this cup, the white resin. The clear resin is fine, but the white resin was too much. Um, so I go in at the end and I scrape it off. But you, I didn't record it, so you don't see it. But use your heat gun. If you're new to using a heat gun and doing waves, start on a low velocity and low heat and work your way up. Um, once you start getting that pigment to start moving, it's going to drip off. So make sure that you have something underneath to catch it. I have just regular printer paper here. Um, but you want to move the resin. Unfortunately, like I said, I put too much of the white on there. But... Um, I scrape it off with a popsicle stick and it actually turned out a whole lot better. I want to be able to see a lot of that glitter shining through the cup. So as you can see here, you really can't see the glitter and I was kind of disappointed in it, but that's okay. I took a popsicle stick afterwards and I cleaned it up. And as you can see here, uh, it looks a little more wavy or cloudy which is what I wanted. You can see the glitter more. So I decided I was going to do a decal for this one and it says Salty Vibes. And I just made this on my Silhouette uh, cutting machine and I used this wonderful transfer paper. And I used that to transfer the stencil vinyl onto the cup itself. And it, you know, I just kind of, I think my dimensions are about three and a half to almost four inches as a, uh, this rectangle so it turned out really pretty I really love this but with this vinyl you have to make sure that you press it down into the cup and smooth it out um, if not it will uh, lift if your surface isn't smooth after that I spray painted it with rust-oleum two times clear and I let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour and this final step is adding on about 20 milliliters of epoxy, and I go over this uh, for two coats. So you wanna make sure that your cup is nice and smooth. Don't forget that the bottom needs to be really, really nice and flat, so that when you set your cup down on the table, it will not wobble. And again, I go over with any micro bubbles with a heat torch and not a heat gun because the torch will pop the bubbles and the gun will spread the epoxy. And that is not what I'm trying to accomplish at this point in time. I just want any micro bubbles to pop. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully you saw the first part of the video. And if not, it is linked in the description. And I hope everybody has a super awesome day. Thank you so much for watching.